What's up guys, Ollie here. In today's video, I'm showing you my brand new car. Yes, the Porsche has gone. I'll talk about that on another video, but this is about my brand new car. I'm not gonna waste time. Let's get into it. Here it is, a 2011 Golf GTI Mark VI, all in black. It looks epic. Let me give you a tour. Before I show you around the car, this car is not staying stock and it will be fully documented on the channel. Weekly videos about this car, modifications that I'll be doing and I'm so excited for it. Let me give you a tour of the car. Here is the car, a 2011 Mark VI VW Golf GTI and it's not actually stock. I'll get onto that in a minute. Let's start at the front. As you can tell, the front badge has been spray painted black and it's looking a bit tired and worse for wear, so I need to redo that. Again, the front grille, it's missing the GTI. Actually, no, it's not missing it. It's actually just been sprayed black, which I'm not a fan of. I prefer the actual real look of that, so I'll get a brand new one of them. I'm gonna get a brand new grille uh, because again, it's looking tired, some of the red here is starting to fade and peel it's just looking a bit tired it has actually got the upgraded daylight running lights it makes the car look so much cleaner so much badder and it just makes it look so much better in my opinion as you can see it's got aftermarket rooms it's got Ray's homura which unfortunately have been very scuffed up along the curbs so i need to get them refurbed i'll probably keep the rims i actually really like them i need to get center caps as well um so yeah, I need to get new centre caps, all the rims refurbed because all of them are absolutely the same. Look, there's literally bits hanging off here. Um, so yeah, but I personally really like the rims. Uh, they just need a light, nice little refurb and some centre caps. Here's the back right one. It doesn't look as bad, um, but yeah, it's still got many scuffs all around it. And now the back of the car. I do love the back of the Mark VI. It has got um, a gloss black painted uh, badge, which I do like considering the front one's matte black, this one's gloss back black. And it looks like it's been snapped in half at some point and glued together maybe. Um, no idea, so I might get a new badge. I don't think it's sitting on there properly either. I think that needs to be pushed back in more. So I'm gonna get a whole new badge, I think, front and back. And here is the exciting bit. It has got an aftermarket exhaust. No idea what it is. Um, I've looked around um, the pipes. It, I can't see anything, any writing, no branding. It sounds really good. I'll give you a start up in a minute. Um, but yeah, also, I don't know if you can see, the right one is slightly lower down than the left one. So I need to get that raised a bit. one thing it needs is a rear diffuser a rear diffuser is needed it will just make it look so much better give it so much more presence and it just looks like you can just see that like the metal bar there with a the diffuser all black it will just cover it up and make it look really mean and really nice i'll try and show you the exhaust if anyone does know what exhaust this is please do let me know in the comments as I said, there's no logo branding around the pipe. I've tried looking under on the actual exhaust tip bit here. Still couldn't see anything. Um, but yeah, 
If anyone does know what exhaust this could be, please do let me know. I'm still undecided if I do want to keep this aftermarket exhaust. I'm thinking about putting a standard Mark VI exhaust on, just because I do really like the sound of the standard exhaust. This exhaust does sound nice and it is loud. The one thing on the motorway, it's very droney. When you're on the motorway, it's doing 70 in sixth gear. It's about 3,000, 3,500 RPM and it does just drone a bit which is a tad annoying, so I might switch it out for a standard. If you guys can recommend any exhaust that sounds nice, does a bit of pops and bangs, but doesn't drone, or you can open and close the valves on a button, please do let me know, because that's what I'll be really looking into. If this exhaust did have an option to open and close the valves, I would probably keep it. But as it doesn't, it does just drone. I might be changing it out. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Onto the side, I am going to be getting some side skirts. Nothing too crazy, nothing too big. Just something, just to come out, just a tad, just to give it a nice little look. Just make it look a little bit more aggressive, all in black. Just make it look really cool. So in terms of visual mods, I want a new grill, new badge all round. I want a front splitter and a rear diffuser and some side skirts. They'll be coming very soon, all fully documented on this channel. I'll, I'll be filming the whole process on this channel. Let me show you the interior. So the interior, I did go with the cloth GTI stitch seats. There were so many leather seats and I just didn't like the look of them because the age, they were worn, they looked tired, they looked dirty. They just looked old and saggy. But I really do like the cloth GTI stitch seats. I get so many people either love them or hate them. Personally, I absolutely love them. One thing you've probably seen, yes, I did go for a DSG automatic. My Porsche was an automatic. I've just gotten so used to automatics. I just love them. I just find them a lot more fun and for the kind of driving I do, a lot more convenient and fun for me which I know some people say, oh, you're not a true petrol head if you have an automatic. You're only true if you have a manual. Well, shove it, because I love my cars, and I love auto, and I do love manual, but I think I do prefer automatic. The steering wheel has an Alcantara red stitching, which, as you can see, it has been done by a moron, um, because, yeah, there is... Uh, absolutely tons of gaps but I think it looks and feels really nice it is starting to wear at the top here but it does feel really nice it's a lot better than the leather standard one I'd say I do need to get a new GTI badge as you can see it's all come off there it has got the red it has got red metal shifter paddles which I absolutely love and I just love the red stitching all around the car it looks really nice Another thing I need to get is a new DSG gear knob because I don't know if you can see, ignore my girlfriend's hand cream. There is, this bit here is sticking up and it actually, I don't know if you can hear this. That is a bit of plastic sticking up and it is actually like can cut your finger. I cut my thumb on it on the first drive back. Um, so yeah, I need to get a new DSG gear knob. I do have an Apple CarPlay screen already installed, which is absolutely brilliant. But there is one hidden history about this car. And I don't know if this is a bit of a clue right there. It's in kilometers. This car is in fact a Japanese import. So yeah, it's a Japanese import. I didn't personally import it. I brought it from a car dealer that specifically imports Volkswagens, BMWs, them type of cars from Japan to the UK. And I've heard mixed things about buying a Japanese import. But for me, the pros outweighed the cons. And for me, I didn't obviously have to import it myself. I wasn't paying the tax duties or anything for the import fees. So I just brought it from a UK dealer and it is literally immaculate. Ignore my hat on the seats, but I don't think the back seats have barely ever been used. This is a 2011 car and the seats look absolutely immaculate. The footwell, the carpet, the back bit with the vent, it all looks absolutely pristine and immaculate in here. Just look at these seats. They barely look like they've ever been sat in. One more thing is I love the black tinted windows. The back's fully tinted and the sides are fully tinted black. Because the car is fully black, it just makes it look super cool and super mean. But once I have 
the front splitter, the side skirts, the rear diffuser, all the mods, this car is going to look absolutely sick. If anyone wants to know about imported cars from Japan, please do ask for a video because I can create one. I've done so much research into importing cars from Japan. Personally, not the importing process, but more the pros and cons of importing a car from Japan to the UK, about the cars, about how they're treated, how they're looked after, and about the road conditions in Japan compared to the UK. So if that is something you'd be interested in, please do let me know in the comments and I, and I can create a video about that. Okay guys, that is the end of today's video. My brand new Golf GTI Mark VI. More videos will follow, of course, every week. I'm going to be doing a first drive of this car. I'm going to be doing all the different mod videos as well. It's going to be sick. I'm going to fully document this car on the channel weekly. Also do another video on why I sold my Porsche Boxster, because some people might think, why have you downgraded from a Porsche Boxster to a VW Golf GTI? All will be revealed in a future video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. Hit the like button, it does really help me and comment down below your thoughts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.